Hi, everybody. Hi, Tisha. Yeah, your teacher's just a bit stuck again, so I'll just um, email her the link. How's it going? Um, a little bit exciting. <laughs> a little bit exciting? That sounds good. <laughs> what do you mean by exciting? Exciting so, for the reasoning for the my why and my pronunciations. Yes, yes. Okay, and are you preparing for your test? Do you, do you think you're getting prepared for your test? And I keep listening and put in the book like that we all voice for hear my voice or it's good or no good or some same anyway. I charge by myself. <laughs> But exciting more because today is my mother's birthday, my mom's birthday. Does your mom work? Oh no, my mom is uh, her birthday today. Okay, yep. Plan with my sister to keep her uh, something special, for, supply her for her birthday. Okay. <laughs> yes, Jaya? Uh, Jaya, you wanted to make a comment? Sorry, teacher. I thought you, did I hear you say something? No. No? Okay, no problem. All right, here's your teacher, everybody. I'll leave you to it. All right, thanks, Narissa. You're welcome. You're the host. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Hi everyone, fun and games, fun and games. So <laughs> do you want to turn your cameras on for me, please? Thank you. I like looking at faces when I talk, so it make, makes, makes life easier. And especially if you're in lockdown, then we get to at least see faces and connect with people. So, hi, Muhammad. How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, my name is T uh, Miss Narissa. Miss Narissa, I'm, uh, my name is Muhammad. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, originally, I'm from Afghanistan, but uh, I come here from Italy, so I have two nationalities. So we have two Italians in the group at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> That's Me exciting. Either. Thank you. You're nice welcome. to meet you. So would you, we have been practicing reading today yeah. and you have a test soon. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask the group, would you like me to keep reading so you can hear the correct pronunciation? Some of the students have used their phone to record so they can listen afterwards. Oh, you're right, yeah. Put your hand up or do this. <laughs> you say yes. <laughs> and this if you say no. Who wants to go yes? Lida, one, two. Yeah. For Lita? me it's yes. Andrea? Yeah. But, but I would yeah. like to ask yeah. which, uh, which uh, uh, other uh, exercise uh, will be uh, the reading test. Understand, we read alone and teacher listen and, and fix or or yes other way but uh, only this or or we make question answer reading uh, writing uh, or or only uh, read loud or, okay yes so i will i i am reading through number three yes and i will finish that one and then i will read number four 
And then there is plenty of time to listen to you read. And I'm going to ask you some questions to see if you can answer. Okay. Similar okay. Than, than will be Wednesday, Wednesday test. This will be similar. I don't the practice. Uh, what is the practice? What will be uh, we do next time? The practice. I understand, but I can't give you the exact questions for the test because I don't know them. It's the test. But I can ask you questions to see if you understand what you have read. And they should be similar questions to what you will have on your test. Okay, so I will share my screen. But uh, you, you did not finish the uh, third. Uh, Correct. So we're on module 10, reading number three. Yeah. Reading on keeping a routine. Yeah. So I got up to here, didn't I? Yes. Can yes. you remember that? Yes. Something that you, you finished this. Okay, something. good. All right. So everybody ready to record on your phone? Ready? Everyone, show me. Ready? Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Some things that you can do will help you maintain a routine when you're stressed. Focus on things you can control. Managing your own behaviors can help you feel more in control of the situation. Goldman recommends focusing on the things that are within your power to control. A good place to start with creating a new routine is to set wake up and bedtimes as well as meal and activity times, says Rachel Goldman. PhD. The key is to create a routine that adds structure and a sense of predictability to your day. Of course, your schedule may change somewhat depending on the day of the week, but sticking to a basic structure for when you will wake, eat, work, do activities and sleep can help you feel less stressed out and more organized. Structuring your day also ensures that you can accomplish those basic tasks that must be done, which will leave you with the time to schedule in other things that you want or need to accomplish. You'll feel more organized and productive with a regular routine, which will help you feel more proactive and in control in the face of a stressful situation. Follow a routine that supports your health. There are some things that you can make a part of your daily routine to help you manage stress levels. And these include staying active and getting regular daily exercise, making sure that you are well rested, eating healthily or sorry, healthy meals on a regular schedule. Setting realistic goals, trying to stay positive, 
preparing for challenges, but not ruminating on things you can't control. Staying in touch with friends and family members. Setting aside time for activities that you enjoy. Just set my timer so I can remember when to stop class. Make your list. One helpful activity is to make a list of things that you normally do during the day. You lost, of course. Of course. Yes. You lost. It's... Of course, the situation you're facing, Ali, you lost this. Of course. Mm, no. Include. You, you finished the enjoy. Not yet. After, of, of course. Of course, where's, oh, of course. The situation you personally are coping with can also affect how easy or hard it is to stick to daily routine. Stay at home orders due to COVID-19 have left many people with blank schedules, which can be a daunting prospect for many people. It's important to find things to fill your time so you don't end up engaging in unhelpful or unhealthy behaviors. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. <laughs> make your list. One helpful activity is to make a list of the things that you normally do during the day. Include everything from work to meal preparation to household chores. Once you have an idea of the basic tasks you need to accomplish, you can start creating a general online, sorry, a general outline for what you might need to accomplish each day to stay on track. Stress can make it hard to concentrate. So outlining these daily activities can help you better focus on what's important. While it's important to get the essentials done, be sure to find things that you can look forward to. Whether it's watching your favorite television show or calling up a friend, making these little rewards a part of your routine can help you stay upbeat and focused when you are working on a task that you might not enjoy as much. Okay, so that's number three. Let's do number four. Number four, feeding the family. Feeding the family. Over the past year and a half, our research team conducted in-depth interviews with 150 Black, White and Latina mothers from all walks of life. We also spent over 250 hours conducting ethnographic observations with 12 working class and poor families. We observed them in their homes as they prepared and ate meals and tagged along on trips to the grocery store and to their children's checkups. Sitting around the kitchen table and getting a feel for these women's lives, we came to appreciate or appreciate the complexities involved in a feeding so involved in feeding a family. While pollen and other wax nostalgic about a time when people grew their own food and sat around the dinner table eating it, they failed to see all of the invisible labor that goes into planning, making and coordinating family meals. Cooking is at times joyful but it is also filled with time pressures. <clears throat> Trade-offs designed to save money 
and the burden of pleasing others. Excuse me, I'll just drink some water. Wanda and her husband, Marquen, or Marquen, working class black parents of two young girls were constantly pressed for time. Both were employed by the same fast food chain, but in different rural locations, 45 minutes apart. They depended on Wanda's mother who lived 30 minutes away for childcare. During the five weeks we spent with them, their car was broken down. And since they did not have enough money to repair it, they relied on a complex network of friends and family members for rides. Their lives were further complicated by the fact that they didn't know their weekly schedules. What hours, shifts, or even days they would be working until they were posted, sometimes only the night before. Once they learned their shifts, they scrambled to figure out transportation and childcare arrangements. Wanda liked her job, but her unpredictable schedule or uh, schedule made it difficult to cook regular meals the way she wanted to. This time dilemma was also hard for Leanne, who worked for the same fast food corporation as Wanda and Marken. But in an urban area that lacked reliable public transportation, sometimes Leanne would take a taxi to work only to find out that business was slow and she was not needed. Other times, she was asked to work late. Because of this, Leanne and her family had no set mealtime. Cooking and eating were often catch as catch can. Wanda and Leanne's situation is increasingly common. As real wages have stagnated, many households depend on every adult family member working, sometimes in multiple jobs and jobs with non-standard and unpredictable hours to make ends meet. Since the 1960s, working women have cut back on household tasks, including cooking and cleaning. According to sociologist Lena or Leanna Sayer, even so, balancing paid work and unpaid work at home, women today have less free time than they did a generation ago. And in line with heightened expectations of motherhood, they now report spending more time engaged in childcare than did mothers in the 1960s. It's not surprising that they struggle to find time to cook. And of course, cooking isn't just about the time it takes to prepare the meal. It also involves planning ahead to be sure the ingredients are on hand and it means cleaning up afterwards. Samantha, a single white mother of three, was blunt when she asked if she liked cooking. Not really, she said. I just hate the kitchen having to come up with a meal and put it together. I know I can cook, but it's the planning of the meal and seeing if they're going to like it and the mess that you make and then the mess afterwards. If it was up to me, I wouldn't cook. Though the mothers we met were squeezed for time they were still expected to produce elaborate meals cooked from scratch. Even the middle-class women we talked with who enjoyed regular work hours and typically shared the household work with a partner said they lacked the time to cook the way they felt they should. 
most got home from work around six o'clock and then attempted to cook meals from scratch as the experts advise, while their children clamored for their attention. All right, so that's the end of the four readings. I'm going to ask you some questions. And let's see if everybody can answer one question each. So who have we got in class today? Okay. So, Muhammad. Yes. Can you tell me in this article here called Feeding the Family, what is one struggle that women have with preparing meals for their family? Mm -mm. Who? I don't know really. You don't know? I'm going to stop screen sharing so I can see you all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mohammed, can I have your camera, please? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Jaya, can I have your camera, please? Ladies, what's one of the problems that you saw or heard that women have in trying to feed their family? Okay, let's go back to the article. Is the time? Earlier, uh, many women, women uh, didn't work, but now uh, uh, more women work and it's uh, um, uh, unpredictable time and not enough time for feed family. Yes, great. Both answers are correct. So um, let's have a look at some of the information here. All right. Um, Wanda and her husband are constantly pressed for time, even though they both work, both are employed by the same fast food chain. Let's keep looking. Looking, looking, looking. Um, their car had broken down and they didn't have enough money to repair it. <laughs> their lives were further complicated by their work schedule. So all of this information in this paragraph here is telling you this family does not have enough time. Have enough money, have enough money and because they have a very good. not enough money for fixed. Well done, very good. They don't have enough money for the car and they have to use someone's mother. They have to use Wanda's mother to look after the children. Yeah. So very good. Okay, let's have a look at this paragraph here. Wanda, she likes her job. The time dilemma is hard for Leanne. So Leanne is another woman who is struggling to find time to feed her family. What's in this paragraph here? See if you can find one problem. Unpredictable schedule uh, time. Uh, you, this one, uh, this one. Andrea, Vandra, 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 yes. Can you find one problem? Uh, real wage uh, has stagnated. And to find work because please, yeah, please, 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 Elena. Later, go. Okay, no, I think because she don't. Okay, she she don't have work. She have work, but uh, she have she is waiting for when the boss have to tell her what 
her shift when when she can work you know mm -hmm. and uh, is for waiting she didn't know okay no understand to make ends meet okay ah okay this is oh, another uh, the 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 wage stagnate need uh, other to uh, make ends meet is not enough money yeah correct not yes. enough so, money okay. need work not enough time and yes. change, change, change their life then uh, mother uh, time mother who was uh, 60 years uh, and yes. 1960s uh, more women uh, were uh, only house worker uh, now uh, need uh, to uh, work for pay and unpaid, <laughs> unpaid work listen <laughs> okay smaller information let's have a look wow. the real wage has stagnated mm. yes so, I, I spoke yes i agree Money is the same. It's not got better with time. But price go up. <laughs> some, some, yes. Sometimes people have multiple jobs and jobs with non-standard or unpredictable hours, like Lita said. Um, da, 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 da. Women today have less free time than they did a generation ago. My mother, my grandmother had more time. Me, no free time. Um, and heightened expectations of motherhood. Heightened expectations. Heightened expectations of motherhood. So mother has to be amazing, has to work, has to look fabulous has to cook all these meals from scratch and perfect every time, high expectations. So they are three problems in that story. Um, what, okay, so let's go to the next one. Keeping a routine. Why do we need to keep a routine. Carol, why do we need to keep a routine? Uh, uh, having a regular routine can help you lower the stress levels. Good. Mm, Keep going. On good daily habits. Good. Take better care of your health. Yes. Help you feel more product uh, productive. Productive. And the last one. Uh, help you feel more focused good more focused what Muhammad what does Rachel Goldman say you need to focus on Yeah, it's, uh, it's just focus on things you can control, no? Right. Yeah. So can you tell me some things you can control that she mentions in the article? Stay active and get in regular daily exercise. Good. Yeah, yeah. making sure that you are well rested. Yes. Uh, what else? Eating healthy meals on a regular schedule. Yes. What else? Yes. Sitting rules. Uh, sitting. Um, setting. Setting realistic goals. Good. Yeah. And trying to stay positive. Well done. Preparing for a challenge but not 
Romanting on things you can control. Challenges, but not ruminating. Ruminating on, on things on you things. can control, yeah. Do you know what ruminating means? Ah, uh, not really. In your mind, thinking, same thing, over, 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 all the time. Okay. Ruminating. Ruminating, okay. Mm. So thinking all the time about things you cannot control. Uh, yeah, yeah. It means ruminating, yeah? Yes. Okay. Staying in touch with friends and family members. Yes. Setting aside, aside time for activities that you enjoy. Good. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Um, Ginsen. Yes. How, how can you or what can you do to, do to be a helpful activity? Hmm. To, to help with keeping a routine. Uh, make your list. Yes. Yeah. What sort of things do I put on my list? Yeah, one helpful activity is to make a list of the things uh, that you normally uh, do doing all day. Good. Yeah. What else? Mm, include everything from work to meal uh, pre preparation to household choose, uh, chores. Preparation. Chore. Preparation. Yeah. And household ch chores. Chores. Yes. Once you have. Once you have an idea of the basic task you need yep. to uh, accomplish, 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 you can start creating a general outline for what your mind need to accomplish each day to stay on track. Yes, high five. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well done. Okay, let's see who else have we got here. Why, because of COVID, Japan, why, mm -hmm. because of COVID, do we need to keep a routine? Oh. <laughs> look, 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 look. Here, here, here is the answer. Yeah. The reduction caused by the COVID-19 pandemic have demanded outlets. Many people's normal routines, which makes it that more hard, harder to go with the street that people are feeling. Okay, good attempt and well done. Ready? Listen. The disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic have dramatically altered many people's normal routines, which makes it that much harder to cope with the stress that people are feeling. Why do we need a routine because of COVID? It helps people cope with stress that everyone that people are feeling. Japan, would you like to read that sentence again? The deduction caused the COVID nineteen pandemic have they make likely? Okay, stop. Dramatically, Love dramatically, 
Okay. Alred. Many. Altered. 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 Yep. Altered. Many people no more routines Good. with makes makes is that much faster. Yes. Hybrid story too low. Coke. With cough. Cough. Yep. Cough. Cough. With the stress that people are feeling. Well done. Good job. Now let's just go back here. Disruptions. Dup dis disruptions. Disruptions. Good. Disruptions. Pandemic. Pandemic. Good girl. Much better. Much better. Thank Good. You. Okay, let's go back. Problems we want solved. Andrea. Number two, why is it important for children to use technology? Oh. Have a look, 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 look. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because kind gr uh, grew up in a world dominated by technology and they should be exposed to it from the time they're babies. Mm. This just ch ch change the world, change the world. We use every time technology, I think. Te technology. Technology, technology. Good. Yeah. This, uh, many young children use iPad and phone. Uh, yep. Better use than I <laughs> and middle age <laughs> adult. <laughs> oh, I know they can use it very good, better than me too. <laughs> I don't know that my is true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, have we, who else have we got? Leader, let's see. Um, why would it be important? to find a cure for social media overload or addiction. Okay, can you repeat where's the verb? Because I can hear, okay. Number Where nine, uh -huh. why do we need a cure for social media overload addiction? Okay. Uh, I I should to think how is how much productivity uh, I have lost over the last decade due due to checking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yes, I don't want. That's it. Yeah, is that? Yeah, yeah. That that's the answer because it's productivity. How much is yeah the how much productivity is lost? Yeah. Yes. So the question, yeah. Good. Now, let's have a look at another one. How much, have a look, number 12, everyone, number 12, how much food is wasted? Uh, one trillion dollars, one trillion dollars. A third of food. Oh, yeah. Yes, so. And it, it, a third of food. So money, yeah. one trillion dollars, or. A okay. third of a year. A third, a third of, food. of food. Yes. That's a lot. One trillion dollars. Lots and lots of money, lots and lots of food. Um, number seven. What is the real estate commission rate? Uh, if you be uh, put on uh, myself in the internet, zero. But I think in Australia, one and a half and two. And two uh, I think this is American, uh, four and five, four and six. Uh, I think in Australia, one half and two uh, uh, percentage. Correct. But this but is an American four, article. Four to, four to six percentage. Correct. Four or six percent. Yes. But this I can read 
why uh, you uh, this uh, agent because we can put uh, myself in the inter inter uh, internet. Um, yes. But also, I would if it were different than American, I think. Correct. But remember, your test will only be about the information Maybe. you have been given. Okay. The so, the yes. Test. Correct. Okay. Number one How many people cannot afford high speed? Internet. How many people? 34 million. 25. Ah, no. Million. Andre? Shh. Okay. 25 million. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Yes, you got it right, Andre. Thank you, Mohammed. Good job. Both of you. Well done. What is the name of the company, Carol, that um, investors are looking at to solve the problem or help them get high-speed internet. This uh, disk connect. Yes, good job. It's this. Um, it's this company here. Excellent. All right. Um, Gizem, can you number two? What mm -hmm. are the Five things that were the top toys um, that a magazine said were really good to play with. Magazines, it's a box, string, cardboard, tube, and dirt. String, box, box stick, string. cardboard, tube. And dirt. And dirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers playing with dirt? I do. Lots of dirt when I was a kid. Okay, let's go back to the next one. Thrift shops. Who likes thrift shops? Me. I love them. I love I thrift shops. Andrea likes. <laughs> yeah. Andrea is going, yes, pick me, pick me. Okay. Very cheap. <laughs> They're very cheap, yes. Okay, who can give me one reason why I should shop at a thrift shop? Have a look. Cheap and cheerful. Okay, so Lita said cheap and cheerful. You can spend money, not too much money. Lita, you done? Yes, As good. Sustainable fashion. Sustain sustainable fashion. Sustainable? Sustainable fashion. Good, sustainable fashion. Be original and range of go goods. Excellent. So we've got cheap and cheerful. It's sustainable fashion. And what did you say? Because the original originality. Nice. Yeah. Muhammad, can you come up with one? Uh, range of foods. Yeah, you can actually get foods at some places. Yeah. 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 Or range of goods, did you say, or food? Foods. Foods. Food. Food. Show me where it says. Show no. me where it says food, Mohammed. No, op shop, no food. No, no. Where does it say that about food? Good. Shh, I'm asking Mohammed. Sorry, goods, no foods. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> goods. Mohammed is, yeah. is hungry. <laughs> yes, he's now hungry. I feel tired a bit, sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's okay. Range of goods. What does that mean, Muhammad? Range of goods. Range of goods, like something, it's, it's a good quality. Okay. With a, with a good quality, yeah. It, what else can it mean? Uh, Remember, it, the question is about the work you have read. 
Mm, yeah, such as like books, shoes, bags, Good. and socks. Well done. Yay. High five for you. Thank Good you. Job. And, and, and what about this down here? Yeah, and uh, clothing too. Clothing that are no longer available anywhere else. Yes. And we've got vinyls and CDs and clothing mm. that's no longer available. Well done. Um, who hasn't answered yet? Japan. Um, what, what is another name for a thrift shop? <laughs> name of a tea shop? Oh. Another name. So in Australia, we don't call them thrift shops. What do we call them? Oh. Uh, chip shops. Uh, not quite. We call them up the top here. Have a look. Oh, chip shop or oh, up, up shop. shops. Up shops, right. Up is short for opportunity. Up shops. Um, oh, let's see. Okay. Has anybody got any questions for me? Has anybody got any words they want help with? Words from the reading. Um, yes, the feeding the family. Uh, yes. Uh, 25, I was conducting ethnographic, house with ethnographic. Hang on a minute. Let me go find it. Uh, fourth, started. We also spend over. Go up, go up. Uh, this, right. When when you see twenty five hours, two hundred and fifty hours. Hours conducting is ethnographic. How we speak ethnographic. This Ethno last ethnographic. Ethno means ethnicity. Understand, understand the meaning. Uh, speaking uh, ethnographic. Ah, yeah, ethnographic. 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 Okay. You are correct. Ethnographic. What's the next word, Andrea? Uh, the next word. Ethnographic. After. Right. Observation. Observation. Right. Yes. Carol, Observation. can you say this word for me? Uh, it's good girl complexities well done what about this word it ah you hear now you can say it two ways appreciate Appreciate. 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 Good. That's a, appreciate the complexities involved in feeding a family. Gazem, what's this word here? Difference. Good. Pardon? Difference. Different. Difference. Difference. Yes. Uh, Muhammad, this word? Locations. Great. This word? Transportation. All right, let's try this word. Constantly. Constantly, very good. Uh, this one? Members. All right, what about this one? Arran sorry, uh, arrangements. Arr Arrangements. No. Say again. Arrange, arrangements. Yes. The G changes its sound. Arrangements. Arrangements. Yes, arrangements. 
Um, leader, this word. Time, dilemma. Good girl. Uh, this one. Business. This one. In line with heightened. Good girl, well done. Heightened, good job. What about this one? Uh, stagnant, stagnant. Mm. This is no, it, it is Vegas. hard. Yeah, Hab stag, stag, stagnant, 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 stagnated. Okay. Stagnated. 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 Yes. Have stagnated. Good. Okay. Yep. All right. That's a past tense. Have stagnated. Stagnated. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good. Japan. What's this word? Household. House. Household. Hold. Can you do Hold. the D at the end? Hold. Hold. Good girl. Well done. What about this one? Cleaning. 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 Yeah. Cleaning. Cleaning. Good girl. Um, what about, can you do this one? A support. A support. E. 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 L. Elaborate. 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 Yeah. Can you do this one? Planning. Planning. Good girl. What about this one? Prepare. Per. 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 Yeah. Hang on a minute. Per, but the E is a long sound. Prepare. 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 So this, this E is a long sound. Prepare, not prepare, prepare. Prepare. Now, this E is a short sound at the beginning. E. Ek. Expected. Okay, let's see. Kiss them. What can we get for you? <laughs> <laughs> what about this one here? Blue the label. Close. Re. Uh, re. We able. Liable. Reliable. Reliable. Yes. Reliable. What about this one? Transportation. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, try this one. Um, Corporation. Oh, close. Have another go. Corporation. Mm. Corporation. Close. Corporation. In Australia, that A has a little bit of an E sound. Corporation. Mm. Corporation. 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 So, Corporation. Yeah. What about this one here? Uh, Non-standard. Non Non-standard. Good job. Well done. All right. Andrea. Can you say this one? Unpredictable. Unpredictable. Good. Good. What about this one? Elaborate. Elaborate. What about this one? Expected. Good job. This one? Typically. Good. What about this one here? Hang on. Climb I don't know. Climb <laughs> I don't know. Climb Ah, Clam mode. Clam mode. Clam mode. Clam it as in the clam, the shellfish. Clam it. Clam it. Clam Yeah. Climbing all over their mother. Clam it. Not, not, not a, a high sound. Ah, no, not, 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 not. clamored. 
Clamored. Clamored or clamored, both are the same word. I would say clamored. Big and Aussie, we like to make our A's very broad, clamored. Yes. Um, let's see if we can find another word for you. Uh, what about this one, Andrea? Interviews. And this one? Complexities. Good job. And this one? Different. Oh, we got like one second left. Class is finished. <laughs> is it? What time does class finish? If you want. Four for two. <laughs> we, uh, we, 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 lose, we lose 50 minutes earlier. Oh, no. I, 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 I class started uh, four hours. I didn't connect. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well done, everybody. Pra listen to the recording. Practice your speaking and your pronunciation. And good luck with your test next week. Or is it next week or this week? No, Wednesday. Wednesday. Good luck. I hope you do good a job. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, Tisha. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You too. You're welcome. Bye.